really interesting original music, um, punk, um, ska, poetry, all the rest of it, and Alex Sources, 70 or 80 beers from small independent breweries. Mostly, yes. Mostly, yeah. mostly, uh, mostly all completely unique new brews, and we've been doing it for 16 years now. Um, and I don't know, he's coming, he actually lives in New York. <laughs> Um, yeah. And it's, uh, and it's fantastic. So I would do this book, but it's, it, it is. Now, uh, sorry, darling. It's it's <laughs> it's Joseph Porter Stephen Bag. I mentioned Joseph Porter Stephen Bag earlier in the context of, of what was hanging out the window at the, at the silk bar that used to be the Ducks and Nuts. So I ought to sort of elucidate further. Uh, it is basically a poem about a sleeping bag um, that should have been washed um, and never was. And with Glastonbury coming up, Glastonbury coming up next week, I'm sure there will be many. This is a poem which always gone down very well at Glastonbury, um, for obvious reasons. It, I'm sorry, it's very rude. It has references to cheeses, which you won't be able to buy, even in a very, very sophisticated place like Ludlow. <laughs> These cheeses will not be available. Anyway, here we go. I thought perhaps it was a slug. Maybe a decomposing rug or some huge condom clogged with clag. It's Joseph Porter's sleeping bag. A mad bacteriologist's dream where Bell End Borsan reigns supreme. And even bed bugs puke and gag. It's Joseph Porter's sleeping bag. The outside festers. And within, Insides grey as Major's skin, a quilted dustbin or a rag. It's Joseph Porter's sleeping bag. No laundrette has crossed its path. Folk vomit in its aftermath. There's notebooks and a railway mag in Joseph Porter's sleeping bag. A camel's foreskin, by compare, smells sweeter than the alpine air. I'll tell you this, I'll never shag in Joseph Porter's sleeping bag. So we made him put it in the washing machine. And I wrote a poem in solidarity with that washing machine. <laughs> Stung by these words so rudely bald, to Protag's old machine it crawled. A scene too gruesome to be screamed. The day the sleeping bag was cleaned, industrial agent was fetched. The traumatized appliance wretched inside a sewer, slowly sloshed. The day the sleeping bag was washed. A tidal wave of helmet brie. That's a concept for you. Uh, flowed festering towards the sea, and in it, Plague rats gaily preened the day the sleeping bag was cleaned. The feeted futon's foreskin fetter caused many an angry Greenpeace letter. First Exxon Valdez, now this. The day the hot point took the piss. And now the horrid thing is clean and lilac smelling and pristine. There's still no way I'd ever shag in Joseph Porter's sleeping bag. Thanks very much, Mr. <laughs>